What's up guys, it's Devin Erko, and I am here today for Top 5s with Devin Erko. Today, it'll be on the Grand Crossing, more specifically, Top 5 Game Passes on the Grand Crossing. Now, I made up a list of what I thought to be the best Game Passes and my reasoning for it. So, without for <laughs> my voice just did a weird crack right there. But, without further ado, let's get into it. The number 5 Game Pass on our list. Heavy Weapons Pack. Now, the Heavy Weapons Pack is in the shop. Under Weapons. Scroll down. There we go. Heavy Weapons Pack. It's 799 Robux. So, you know, a fair price. You get a Titan LMG forever, and... That sniper forever. Now the Titan LMG I used to use a lot, but I don't use anymore. Some people prefer it. Uh, I don't. I prefer accuracy. Um, but I do. I use the sniper all the time. Really good game pass. You can use it on any team. That's why it's in the top five spot. But let's talk a little bit more about the guns. Now, the Titan has clip size of 50, so massive, massive clip. This is what we in the biz call now. <laughs> this is called an LMG, <laughs> in case you guys didn't know. It's 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 basically a uh, a more portable machine gun. So, let's check out this fire rate. Good fire rate. Accuracy, as you can see, all over the place. Uh, but damage is pretty good, I think. Uh, let me take it into combat and see. Oh, that is an MP. As you can see, I do not like using this a lot. Oh my gosh. You have been arrested for You have been arrested no! <laughs> Come on, MP! Fight me like a man! I'm trying to make a video, just fight me like a man! That sucks. Anyways, <laughs> let's get back to talking a little bit more. So, uh, oh, crap. Anyways. So, yeah. LMG, great magazine size. As you can see, I was able to tag him a lot during that fight. Unfortunately, I had to unload a full clip, and it didn't even kill him because of the freaking accuracy. In order to use that gun, uh, you have to have A, good luck, and B, good accu like, oh, great accuracy, or be close like I was there. <laughs> I like scaring them like that. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Um. Anyways, so next gun on our list, uh, this is the L95-S. Now, this is a sniper. It used to. Uh, it used to. Uh, be one of two snipers. I think the other sniper is still a thing. Hold on. Let me go on to Hitman Team because that's where I had the other sniper. Yeah, so the Paladin is still a thing. It only does two shots now. It used to do three. Uh, and it does, it does a good amount of damage. And then the 
I'm not sure if they buffed the um, the damage on the, the on both snipers while reducing ammo. Uh, they may have. They may have not. Mission failed. I don't care. I'm go I'm going onto the citizen team. That really gets on my nerves. Um. Anyways, so this you know a good a good fire rate uh for a sniper oh hello buddy anyways um so yeah good fire rate i'm assuming good damage i've used it and it uh it halves your life I, I believe it does 75 damage because if you have 150 health, it halves your life. If you have uh, 100 health, uh, then it does a considerable amount of damage to you. Then you can just finish them off with the Titan. Um, so yeah, that's number 5 on our list. It's a good game pass. I recommend it. Uh, the sniper comes in really handy. And the Titan, if you know, it comes with it, and uh, it's it's useful in a lot of situations. Not not my cup of tea, but like maybe yours. Uh, so, moving on to number four is the True Rebel Pack. Now, the True Rebel Pack comes with the plasma launcher, the C4, and the hacking device. So this is a really good pack if you want to raid uh, without being interrupted by being killed and uh, it's really good for TNI because although be uh, I mean raiders uh, uh, the plasma launcher is good too but you can get it anyways TNI this is the only way they can get a plasma launcher because it's not sold in the shop all you can find it is in there right over there oh it broke I hate it when this happens Okay, there we go. Anyways, so plasma launcher. Uh, it's a long reload time, so what I do is, you know, I shoot like that, and then I switch to plasma launcher, and then reload while I keep shooting this. Because the thing about the plasma launcher is it reloads while you're using another gun, which is super good. I don't think it's a glitch. Uh, because, you know, it's useful and it's, it's, I hope that they don't remove it ever because it's, it's very useful. Um, and then it comes with a C4 and a hacking device. So, uh, the plasma launcher is good because it does area damage and can hit people through barriers because if they're hiding behind a barrier, it hits the barrier. This area damage damages them. So, I, I... Yeah, all the time. So, <laughs> um, that's why it's number four. It's very, very nice. And uh, highly recommended. Uh, especially if you like raiding. Because, you know, true rebel pack. Um, so that's number four on our list. Now, number three. Get ready for this. Number three is the medical pack. The medical pack is a pack that I bought just the other day uh, because, you know, I was thinking, hey, it's about time to get it because it's a good pack. It's like a real... Oh, why'd you do this? My arms are forever like that now. Anyways, so the... Me no, I... <laughs> Anyways, so the medical pack, the medical pack uh, contains a P90. Uh, I mean, you can see my showcase of it, but I'll just do a brief showcase. Good fire rate, good magazine size, uh, okay damage. It's a P90. It, it's a submachine gun. What do you expect? Uh, the fire rate is actually not what I thought it would be. It's not that good. 
it's like yeah it's it's disappointing I'm like hey it's a submachine gun it should have a good fire rate no no it doesn't it has a fire rate that's stupid <laughs> Yeah, so the fire rate, really bad. Really bad. And then there's the medical gun, which heals people. Hold on, come over here. Come over here. Heal that guy, who has full health. Um, then we got the medi grenade. Uh, you throw this. Oh, where'd that end up? Oh, crap. So you stand in it, and then it's like, oh. And then uh, it heals you and shields you. So very nice. And then the medical pack, which I've already used this video when I was fighting against the MP, which heals your life completely no matter what health you're on. Very nice. Very nice. So this pack, very useful. You can use it on any team you want. Uh, so that's that's awesome. And just an all-around good game pass. Uh, it's it's newer. Um, so yeah, I mean newer isn't like last update, and they haven't come out with an update for a while, so it's like a few months old. Uh, but yeah, pretty nice. And that brings us to the second top five. Now the second top five is the White Saber. Now the White Saber, it's like one of my favorites because the White Saber allows you to roll. And there's very few teams that can roll. In fact, the only morphs that can roll is the Vanguard morphs. I believe the Guardian morphs, uh, but that, that I pair with the Vanguard morphs, uh, the assassin morph, and what was that other morph? The hitman morph. But the hitman rolls weirdly. You, you saw that earlier with my roll, and I rolled to the side. Yeah, it's strange. Um, but it's actually really good at, for uh, dodging, and it's also good for telling who the hitman is because you know if they roll, they. But anyways, uh, White Saber, I like to use every single team. Because not only do you get a freaking Saber, but you can also roll on any team. And that's really good for combat. Like, you're up, you're up. Imagine that... Imagine, imagine that was a guy. If you're like that, and he's shooting back, then just like, boom. Come at me, bro. Except a guy wouldn't be standing that still, but still, and would be shooting back, but still, great game pass. The white saber does, uh, is like the red saber, you know, um, but like, yeah, super, super good. And it also gives you a saber, which you always want a melee weapon uh, for those times when you need one. Excuse me, <laughs> I was trying to stand on the new tree. Let me try that again. No! Oh. <laughs> Anyways. So. This was number two. And now, guys, get ready for number one. Drum roll, please. Hopefully you hear this in my mic. I'm not sure, though. The jetpack. I mean, how could you not? Pick this as your number one. The jetpack is so, so good. I use it. You've seen how many times I use it. I just, I use it naturally now. It's become a part of me. It's just, it's the best way to get around. You're just, you're somewhere, you know, and then boom, you can fly. And that comes especially handy on the TNI team. Because if I switch, let's see. 
Actually, I'll go to a Dark Knight. Any ally team, it comes in very useful because let's say there's a guy up in the nest sniping down. Uh, that's what I call that place, the nest. I'm not really sure what, uh, what it's called, but let's say there's a guy. Boom! Got him. Because you can fly up there. Because you can't go outside to get in there. You can only fly up there. But it's allowed as long as you can access it without going outside. So, yeah. Um. And you can, like, you fly in combat, you know. You know. And then you, like, you if you're a uh, raider team, or even a dark knight team, uh, it comes in really well. If you're, like, a dark knight, but you want to still, like, do border duties. Hey, I said duties. Anyways. <laughs> I'm a five-year-old. Um, so, oh, wow. So if you want to still do duties, or if you just want to mess around with the gate as a citizen, you can access these vents by flying up. And then, you know, you can be in here doing stuff in here. And, uh, yeah, it comes in very, very handy. Uh, it also, hold on. That's unfortunate. That sucks. Okay. Okay. Just trying to make a video here. Just a humble working man trying to make a video, and you're ruining it with that. <laughs> Anyways, so, yeah, as, like, a raider, you can... Come up here and then... Like that. And then, uh, you know... Get up here. Go like that. Or... Keep going like that. And, um... Yeah, so you can get so many new places. Uh, and it's just, it's an all-around great Game Pass. It's one of the first Game Passes that I got, because I kept seeing people with it, and I'm like, you know what, that's a freaking good Game Pass. <laughs> so I'm getting that. That's how I, yeah. Anyways. So, thank you for joining us today. That was my top five boy <laughs> that was cringy but um yeah that was my first top five so I'll keep making videos in this series uh, I'll make I'll be making actually another grand crossing top five this week and then um and then I'll be making some top fives at the end of the year speaking of the top fives at the end of year the year Sub like and subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss them because they're going to be good. And also join my Discord because that's where we'll be voting for the top fives uh, is in my Discord. So uh, you want to you wanna go there and represent because I'll be doing like top fives of like gun clans and other stuff. So y you want to go there and you want to vote so that Hopefully your gun clan can uh, can make it, and tell you know people members of your clan to join too, uh, if you're an owner, so that you know they can vote for it, and you know, yeah, and also tell them to subscribe. Give me two thousand subscribers, and I'll uh, I'll start making videos on your game. Anyways, uh, thank you for joining me for this uh, top five episode. And I'll try to make more shortly. Uh, have a happy Tuesday, guys. <laughs> and I'll see you guys later. Have a nice day.